Y254 Imagine Welcome back to the Power Talk Show. It's another one. It's the Valentine's special today. We're going to be speak speaking about more than more. Let me tell you, my English is almost running away. So welcome, and uh, we'll be talking about the risk of love. I don't want to miss that. And I've got with me Mr. and Mrs. Barry Litisi. All right. And they'll be speaking to us about the risk of love. And I'm glad that you're here with me. So send in your, your texts, your questions, your suggestions, your opinion to our Facebook page, our Twitter and Instagram, and we'll be, we'll be reading your conversation and get back to you. So right now I'm gonna take it back to At Africa Band. Let's go. I love what you're doing. Let's go again. I am a fancy, I put your, I am 
go jaribu hey, to sulu he say Bila hivyo, itakuwa mchezo Wako wingiza, kwenye mama ubadia Mimi sitaki, kwa masiwezi Eji tunapenda ya Really? Wapenzi lako Let's go Nieleze ni nini itakuwa Tuime tazama Nice one Nime tazama So you dance too Nani ya baa Nime tazama Wapenzi lako Hiva tu Nime tazama Kusanga mele Kuruni nyoma Aya unamalize Aya mapenzi Ogele Aya mapenzi Ya fujo Ogelea, ogelea Umeza mandani Umeza mandani, ogelea Ya mapenzi Ya fujo Hayafai Kama Kama wanipenda Jaribu kunipara Oh, you are the most Oh, done Please have a seat Can I hear some noise in the studio to Fadali? Hmm all righty, so welcome back to the Power Talk Show with me, Dominic. It's another Wednesday, and today it's an amazing show. The audience is back, and a couple of my one of my favorite couples are back, Mr. and Mrs. Barry Litisi. And we'll be talking about the risk of love today. And I have asked you to text in or to go to our social media pages Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, sorry, and uh, comment on the post that's there concerning today's topic. So, the risk of love. And therefore, we're going to start right off Karibuni Sana. Yes, Anjay. Eh, so, uh, <laughs> it's good to have you back. How have you been? Anya naongea. Kwa ni hii mambo imekwaze? Badu ni ya naongea. Oh, badu. All right, so welcome back. It's good to have you back. Good to be back. My first question, and I wrote this question because I was really interested. You got married immediately after you finished your university. Like, you know, we, uh, the, our audience is from the university, so they need, first of all, to know that. You immediately, by the time you're finishing your fourth year, you had already planned about your marriage, right? Mm. But almost, almost like you are like sure that this is what you want. Whether, yes. okay. How did marriage change you? Let me start with you. Mrs. Letisi. It, it changed me a whole lot. Um, I think because we're not really told what what happens when you get into <coughs> marriage, or maybe if you're told, we don't listen. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, you, you have to have uh, a total, a totally different perspective when you're getting into marriage. You have to stop being a baby. Yeah, start acting like a woman. Yes. Yeah, start acting like a woman. <laughs> yes. Can we all agree she looks good? Yeah, yeah, she. Oh, yeah, you. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now you are, this is this is praise to you. Oh, there's an extra mic there for oh. you. So now, one of the one of the things that's curious for me, Mr. Barry, is so many of us, especially men, the idea of settling down seems daunting. What? What? Why? Why? Why is why is it so difficult to be committed, or in your opinion, for men? And why? Why? Why was it so easy for you to like say, you know what? I finished the university. Two or three years, I want. I'm I'm ready for it. I think um, I'm still hanging out with some of my friends, maybe who are with them in campus. Uh -huh. they, they haven't married yet, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes when you meet with them, you're hanging out with them. Uh, the way we, we we talk about things is very different. Yeah? For me, I know at the back of my mind, I have people who depend on me. Or sometimes, as in, I'm, I I I have to make plans for them. But for them, sometimes being a bachelor. Uh, most of my friends, it's very simple. Me to kapa iv, kumbra ni pigia sim kunuliza uko happy, ni sang happy. Na fika home, brought my ayi ko na ugali na pika na lala. Me ni ko sawa. But for me, it's different. I have to know what my family eat in the evening and those kind of things. It's a good thing. It's a good thing, yes, because I think it makes it responsible. 
No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> yeah, it, it makes you, it makes, it makes you responsible. Uh-huh. That, that's the word. Uh-huh. Sometimes when you stay like, okay, that bachelor life sometimes make people become responsible because you don't have like the, the, your focus is on some whatever. No, mm. in marriage sometimes you have to think ahead. Absolutely, you have no option. Absolutely. Yes. Emily. Yes. Is there a Mr. Perfect? No, never. Soulmate. Soulmate, yes. Po- yes. Yes. Mr. Perfect, no. No, no. So do you, st- do you have some friends who are still waiting for Mr. Perfect that you schooled with? Yes, I do. What, is y- what, what would you tell them? I tell them uh-huh. there's no perfect being. The only perfect being is God. <laughs> yes, you what, you. what you have to do actually uh-huh. is know how much you can tolerate in a person. Because mm-hmm. any person you'll find, you'll, they'll always have um something mm-hmm. um imperfect about them so you have to figure out what how much imperfect can you tolerate so just like the way you're imperfect you got to understand that the other person could I- be imperfect yes, too yes yes now but at the same time wha- as you are saying you need to understand what is the level of imperfection that you can tolerate yes what is the one thing about Barry that made you say <coughs> okay oh this okay. is uh, the level of imperfection <laughs> that i want <laughs> Um, mm. in public, uh-huh. in <laughs> um, I think I'd focus on what I saw that I loved, mm-hmm. um, which is the fact that he loved God. And for any relationship, for any marriage, without God, it's not possible. We can lie to ourselves, but mm-hmm. it's not possible. But if both of you um, have a foundation in faith, then you can uh-huh. you can agree you can learn to compromise and you can disagree agree to disagree okay yes all right and what's the biggest in in terms of this therefore what do you think is the biggest lie mm-hmm. that so many young people have come to accept as a truth that prevents them from like settling down from risking to love Barry? Uh, okay th- th- one time <laughs> Uh, our friend, our couple was getting married, uh-huh. and I remember when they were just going to the church, mm-hmm. the kind of car they were in was that open or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, some conductor just saw them passing by. I can't be a mutachana too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> there's, that, there's that thing that people normally discuss. Mm-hmm. What's so special in you? And that's what guys get to hear. Yes. And what we've come to learn ourselves is that it's the two of you to make it work. It's the two of you. It's mm-hmm. It can't be one of you who gives much than the other. It has to be the two of you combined. You make your marriage work. True. That's it actually, you remind me of this guy who was being interviewed. I think it was a Mkokoteni uh, guy. And he, uh, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was saying, so he was asked, are you married? He said, yes. What would you tell young men today? Don't get married. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if you saw that clip. It was like the first thing he said, Msioe, like yeah. a warning. Like mm-hmm. what you, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. Now, to this point, uh, Letisi, uh, do you believe marriage is 50-50 or 100-100? 100-100. It's not 50-50? Not 50-50. Can't work? Can't work. It's never worked? No. The thing is, uh-huh. um, back to, uh, getting back to your question, is that most people think marriage is easy, but it's a lot of work. And they don't want to put in that work. So that's why they, they would prefer to stay mm-hmm. away. Mm-hmm. But it's a lot of work and you have to put in a hundred mm-hmm. and trust that your partner will also put in a hundred. Absolutely. Yeah. I want to ask you, Barry, a, a, a rather sensitive question. Now you can feel feel free to uh, to interfere in this question. Now, you, you many, many couples or many young people today who want to go into marriage, you know, they have already gone through this thing called of making babies, making love. They have already had sex, basically. Ha! Now, how do I ask this question? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you are Christians, yes. Catholics, for that matter, not just uh, yeah. So, in your in your perspective, do you think it is wise to give up the cookie before you get married? Looking back, what you know as Christians? Uh, truthfully. Uh, truthfully, yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Our audience is made, made uh, up of majority only ladies, normal. only one gentleman. Now, speaking as a man, uh-huh. uh, for me, I used to believe that uh, that is me now. Mm. Uh, before you drive any car, you got to you test go by, it. You have mm. to test uh, drive. Gear seven in Africa, what? Hey, please. Nakama iko. Sidio. So, nikapata msa nafrani. Yakanembe, life is not about that. 
as we have to do it the right way. Nilitulinyangana tulisumbuana by the way before we got married. We sumbuana so much. Mimi nilikuwa nataka lakini you sumbuana you sumbuana. Me me of course. <laughs> I'm trying to be polite. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but uh, as a man I understand. Yeah, huh? of course. <laughs> but uh, at the end of the day, mm-hmm. uh, then of the day you get to enjoy. At the end of That's the day at the right time forever. Yes. Sex sex is good. Sex is sweet. Mm-hmm. There's no point in rushing it. You're going to be together for 50, 70, 100 years. Sure. Yeah. It's eternity. Come to the same sea sabuni. No, I but he, he was referring to you, isn't it? That yes. lady who said I think so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> This is yeah. the lady who said <laughs> no yes. Yes. until you are actually uliweka yeah. pete. And since uh, it was the one you uh-huh. know then can you aina was. Aina was. Yes. Yes. Every you know some big am call. You know this is some serious <laughs> business right there. I mean that's that's <laughs> amazing. Mm, the uni saving. The uni saving. And uh, as you said uh, now you you've come to enjoy it. You know I I enjoy you as a couple but because you you lost your first child and you hung on it was a trying moment and now there is a, a daughter. Congratulations. Yes. How is she? You. Oh, she's she's awesome. Oh. She's 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 a beautiful girl. She brings joy in our lives. Um and as I say, after nine months of carrying her, then she turns out to be like I'm, the I'm dad. I'm really really yeah. sorry to hear that. <laughs> yes, she turned out like the dad. <laughs> yes. Sungu akila mahali. A lot a noise maker. Noise maker. Actually, she's typically her dad. Ay, yeah, yes. Yeah. Just looks like me a bit, mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. But character-wise, mm-hmm. Yes, the oh, dad. Thank God she looks like you. All right. Is that So now I, I'm going to ask uh, Masanga to take the, the mic and uh, give it to the audience as I ask this uh, final question so that uh, you can uh, maybe the audience can ask a question or two. Now, uh, let me ask you Mrs. Letisi, what is the beautiful thing about marriage? If you were to sell marriage, mm-hmm. right? What what how would you sell it? I mean what's the one thing you'd tell a young like okay here they are now you are you are pitching yeah. and you're telling them dude ladies and gentlemen marriage is beautiful now you imagine yourself as a sales and marketing lady yeah, yeah you're a market right now and you're selling marriage go for it Do you want to start? No no no. Kwa sababu. Eh? Una tarisha I think the the most beautiful thing about marriage mm. is that you allow yourself to be vulnerable mm-hmm. and you trust that um no matter how vulnerable you are the person still loves you it's it's the it's like an incarnation of the love between you and god now you see it through your spouse mm. yes you have the beauty of a strong marriage. spiritual w- view of it yes barry what do you think you w- how would you to guys so many of us so many of us guys who are very cynical about marriage how would you tell guys look just because you can go and eat uh, ugali and uh, mayai konyumbani you can run your own program marriage is beautiful because of one two three you can risk loving because of one two three okay the what i can say is that um, life life people talk about life not being easy mm-hmm. but with the uh, li- but with the ones who make it be like so mm-hmm. so and i always say if there's a travel like, if there's if you have to share your happiness there's that joy mm-hmm. when you share together there's that joy if it's if it's about problems dealing with problems again you, you don't have to know, do it alone you don't have to do it if, if, if the two of you of course you know you have the problem yeah. so i believe uh, if you have to do that for the rest of your life mm-hmm. with a person whom you believe in for me I'll say it's worth it it's mm-hmm. worth risking it mm-hmm. i can do that also for that person mm-hmm. why not just why not? go for it enjoy life together solve your problems together as well absolutely yes. as a psychologist actually there's a lot of evidence that shows that may, men who are married suffer less heart attacks than those who are actually unmarried absolutely. and that they are more healthy and all that. so there's there's yeah, a lot of and actually poverty runs uh, uh, to those who are single than those who are married yeah so wow. these are statistics you cannot so there are yeah. good things in marriage i'm going to yeah. t- let's let's now go to the audience i don't know uh, is do you have a question Yeah there's a question right there anybody else another p- why well, well, right there okay let's go just say your name and uh, where you're schooling at and then ask your question Oh I'm um, Rispa Murugi I'm schooling Rispa at you got uh, you, you you're single 
<laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm schooling at the Cooperative University of Kenya. Uh -huh. So my question is about age. So um, most couples and most people who are married, the man is older than the woman. But in rare cases, the lady is older. older than the man. So I wonder, can age mates marry? <coughs> can, can age mates work? marry? Okay, it's coming back to you. Wait a minute. Let's let's go to the second question. Rhoda so Finda, that you can be thinking, uh -huh. at the a student at the Cooperative University of Kenya, Rhoda, pursuing uh -huh. public relations and advertising. Perfect. Okay, I have a question. How do you know that a relationship is mature enough for marriage? Ooh, let me tell you. Give it up for them. Give it up for them. All right. Those questions are well cooked. Huh? So, remember the first question. Can age mates marry? And two, you know, can even the lady be older? All right. So, so I'll talk about the age. Hold up the mic. I'll talk about the age, <laughs> your maturity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, <coughs> for me, what I want to say is this. Uh, there's that, uh, I just, I'll, I'll make it broader. Mm -hmm. uh, guys go for the complexion. Guys go for the height. Guys go I want for a man who is financially stable, tall, dark, you know, those kind of things. I always say you don't marry height. Don't marry complexion. Don't marry the age. You marry the person. So for me, it's about the person. That's what matters. These the other things are temporary. The height, the complexion. Guys can do those plastic surgery. Mm. They look whatever. So the age for me, I would say it doesn't matter. Uh, for me, it's look at the person. This, of course, you know you can't marry somebody who is. 16 years Let, no, let's, let's, let's give an example, example. of the, the president of, of France, okay? Yep. So the, the, the difference between the president and his wife is almost 25, 26 years. So actually the, president, the president's wife was his high primary school teacher, uh -huh. right? So the president of France. What, what's your take on that? Let's, let's, let me throw that in. Uh, that way. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, for me, I would say this. You can... Uh, I just I I go back to what I said earlier. Mm. It's for the two of you to make mm. it work. Okay. It's for the two of you to make it work, regardless of the age. Okay. It's the two of you to make it work, regardless whether the man is older than you or mm. you're, or you're even older than the man. But mm. for me, I would suggest that it's the two of you to make it work. To make it work. Mrs. Berry. Yes. Yeah. What do you think? I think I disagree with him a bit. Just a bit. I think some differences could be too extreme. Okay. Like like that one. Like, just like that one, uh -huh. yes. But what if, as he says, mm -hmm. what if it works? Well, if it works, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. So for you, that, that would be okay. Yeah. So just to answer you from my perspective, uh, I, in a sense, emotionally, women tend to, after puberty, that is the age of 11, 12, <coughs> women mature two years faster than men, all right? So in terms of emotional maturity. So that's why oftentimes over, over history, men were always older than the women because also the maturity rate means that oftentimes women might find boys who are their age mates to be a little low in their reasoning or in their emotional capacity for for, 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 for union. So that's why it has always been like that. But to build on what he said, it depends on your, uh, on the, on how you make the relationship work. You can have the perfect age difference, but you still, you are two idiots. Sorry. So that, that doesn't work. So then the next question, the next question is, how do you know that a marriage is mature enough to, I mean, a relationship is mature enough to be a marriage? That's a really tough question. Mm -hmm. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you mm. know. <laughs> um, I, I don't, I don't know, or I don't think there's a specific time mm -hmm. um, that you realize oh, this is it. Mm -hmm. This this relationship is mature. I think it happens over a period of maybe months or years. days mm. or years mm. um, when you start seeing that this is a person you can actually spend the rest of your life with, with uh -huh. when you start seeing their um, weaknesses and uh, realize that this this i can't tolerate mm. and i think the thing is you sh you already let's, let's let me let's use your example yes at what point did you say i am okay with barry being my husband 
when he what, proposed. What, <laughs> when he proposed. But, they, but you said yes. Yes, yes. So that means there is something that in, in him that you uh, you had seen and said, okay, mm -hmm. this is it. Uh, if he say, if he ever mm -hmm. proposes, I'm saying yes. Yes. If he doesn't say it, if he doesn't ask, I'm going to tell him, hey, I want to be your wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, wh what did you ask again? So what, what is that point that made you say if he proposes, I'm going to say yes. And that which made you say yes, actually. Love the love that he showed me over time um i i i ran away from him for quite a long time he was persistent i even left nairobi to china he went there yeah. <laughs> to think to <laughs> think uh and he kept uh following me so ah. men yeah hmm. persistent swax yes mm -hmm. and yes the, that the fact that the love was consistent mm -hmm. and um he 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 presented himself as a person who who knew what he wa wanted later in life he Perfect. wasn't confused he he knew what he wanted he was clear about what he yes, wanted yes Barry, what, what's your take on that question at what point uh, did you realize that emily wanjiko is gonna be mrs barry and i'm comfortable with that as we close it up as we close it up once mm. okay the way we would approach that as i answer this this the question at hand actually is mm. that uh, take time to build your relationship. The foundation is what matters before even you go towards marriage. I will say that take a lot of time to know each other uh, before you decide to go to the next step. Mm. It's normally, it doesn't look really good when you start discovering things after getting married already. Mm. It, might be a, it might be disastrous. That's why I say, don't meet somebody tomorrow in church, then say, I want to marry this guy. Mm. No. It takes time. Know that person. You really need to know each other, mm -hmm. hang out, do those kind of things until you've known the highs and the lows. You know, all those yeah, things they, they have. Mm. For me, on, on her side, that uh, I realized we used to be friends since she came to campus. Uh, we used to have our own, any whatever. So, you know, being campus, you have to experience life. For me, I used to, my MC, but that's what I do currently. I used to do it in campus, mm -hmm. so it was very popular. So it's to do with ladies and stuff, those kind of things. I could get if I want, those kind of things. That, that was my life. But I will never I will never allow any baby woman to come and talk to me and tell me anything, whatever. I was those, those kind <coughs> of guys. But there's this one lady who one came lady. Uh -huh. to me and the dish just advised me, you know, those kind of things. And I realized, by the way, every time is moving, I have to change, you know, that kind of thing. I'm mostly that that's the moment I knew I'd marry her. No. From then, of course, it took like another two years. No, you had to hang out <laughs> and all those kind of things. Until then, I said, no, uh -huh. I think she's the one. Then, of course, once I decided, I had to propose, and I did that. Give and it up to Mr. Are. and Mrs. Barry. <laughs> and here you are. Yeah. You know, so just to, uh, on, that, on that second part, uh, again, I'm, I'm responding again as a, from the point of view as a psychologist. So statistically, they give an average a, a an average a number of years, three years for courtship for most of the marriages that are successful. That the people who court for at least three years before they get married uh, tend to have very successful marriages. And number two, uh, friendship is the biggest predictor for a successful marriage, as he mentioned. So friendship is the biggest predictor, and friendship can be stopped or by kukatiana. Now, when you katiana, you show your best self. Then after the feelings go, then you start to see the, the devil that was hidden, right? So, and most of the time, is at this time you've already had sex, which again prevents you from seeing the devil clearly. And then you commit to the devil and you have uh, 50 years of hell, all right? So, so that I just wanted to point out that part. So we're gonna take a break uh, right now. I hope you're enjoying this, this show. We, I want to thank you, to, to thank my guests today, Mr. and Mrs. Barry, who have been here. On the first part, we're gonna come on the second part. And right now we're gonna take a break and the second couple, the bride, oh, not the bride, the wife, no, not the wife, the girlfriend, okay, the better half, that one. She wants to sing for us, she's going to perform. And so I'm going to take a break right now. We're going to be back with uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kerry Owiti, and we are having uh, Miss Catherine Binya starting us off with a song. So let's go. Pianist. Thank you. 
Wow! Please, please come, come, Karibu Sana. Yes, welcome back to the show. I've got Mr. and Mrs. Carrie Owiti. And as you heard, where Mrs. Owiti? So you can sing. Huh? Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Hey, d does he sing? <laughs> I let him answer that. <laughs> <coughs> yes, yes. <coughs> I wanted I wanted you to answer that question for for him. He writes. He writes. Yeah. You sing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he talks. Yes. A lot. A lot. That's how he he inboxed you. Yeah. Uh, of course. All right. So welcome. It's it's nice to have you. Thank you. It's nice to be back. You're looking great. I Thank mean, so come, on, come on, <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Is she, is she? <laughs> wow. Okay. Who, who who chose whose dress? Because you're you're like even Mr. and Mrs. Berry is like you. You all knew that it's gonna be matching outfits today. Like I don't know. I think because we're friends with uh, Berry and wife. Mm. I think it, we've been friends for so long that we even think alike. <laughs> 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 That's actually for sure. Actually, yeah. people don't know, mm -hmm. and maybe people, our viewers might not know, even the audience might not know that you actually, both of you from the University of Nairobi, mm. was it the same year? Yes, but... Uh, Hold up the mic. But myself and Barry's wife, we graduated a year later. A year later? Guess, and yes. these guys were behind? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right? The a year before. Oh, a year before. <laughs> ah, I should have been behind. I should have made fun of them. <laughs> no. But, mi Mr. Mr. Kerry. Yes. I asked this, uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Barry, a question. Okay. When you were a student, before you got married, and now, has it made you a better man? How, how has it changed you as, as a man? Maybe you're sorry, no, Mifikiria, in a very serious way. <laughs> yes, I have to think, Nisi uh, So, I think it has, uh, in more ways than one. Uh, because uh, looking back at uh, how, how I was three, four years ago and how I am right now, there's some level of, uh, first of all, maturity. There's some attitude change in me. Uh, and then there's just the thought of uh, having to think of someone else other than myself mm. that uh, will always be there for me. Mm -hmm. And that really changes someone. That really changes you. Yes. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause for a while, and I'm gonna talk to the audience, to the viewers at home. So, please uh, go to our Facebook page. There is, there is the, the post of today's conversation, and then you can, po you can comment, uh, ask a question or suggestion on our Facebook page. So please do go there and be part of this conversation. So Y two five four, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, comment on the topic you're having today on the risk of love as we continue and we shall read out uh, the comments that you post there. So, Karibu Tena, it's good to have you back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, uh -huh. you married this man. Yep. Here, is, uh, audience is 99% ladies. Uh -huh. Okay. A lady is asking a question to you, maybe is posing you the question. Yep. Why did you marry him? And... What is one thing that I should look for, if a lady was to ask you, that made you marry Mr. Kerry? First of all, I'll say, do not look. Because uh, people I some people are in a rush to look for love, to find this person. But I always tell uh, people that if you look, you will find, but you may not find the right person. Let it just come naturally. Mm -hmm. For us, I think it just came naturally. But before we got married, of course, there was a long process. Uh, because we had to get through the infatuation phase, knowing each other, kukosana, like is he the right person, feel like giving up. Uh, and even, I, I remember just before our engagement, I was not sure. I even expressed my fears to him that I don't know if you're the right person. Oh man. Yes. Pause there for a while. <laughs> how did you feel, man, after the, how many years of dating? Uh, like five years. Five, five years. years. Yes. And then she's like, mm, dude, I. Uh, mm. You're like, uh uh. Like, the way I'm seeing you right now. Yeah. How do you feel? I was not worried. Really? Like, you were that sure? Yes. Uh, some of these things should not worry someone. <laughs> uh, we, we had been dating for five years, mm -hmm. uh, we'd been steady all along. Uh, and uh, you see, cold feet. 
like when you when you want to get to a class that uh, you've never entered mm. and you're like uh, you're not really sure if you should enter because mm. you don't know what will happen or what you yeah. learn there yeah That's, that was it so you're kind of sure like i know she's just having cold feet yeah. but those these cold feet they're already in the box yes and the fact that uh, again we were doing uh, for for some just prior to that we were doing uh, we were cutting long distance mm-hmm. uh, it, it was it was bound to happen S- uh, some of these feelings are supposed bound to, to yeah. yeah they were okay. bound to come up now i'm actually going to come back to that part eh? where long distance relationship work eh? okay. i'm going i'm going to ask you so <laughs> think about it you were explaining something before i cut you oh yeah about that mm-hmm. and uh, i think we prayed over it and then i just woke up one day and was like you know i'm i am re- i'm actually ready we felt ready for it we didn't force ourselves mm-hmm. we felt ready you felt ready for yeah, it yeah we just we felt it one 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 curious thing about your your relationship right uh-huh, uh-huh. <coughs> matchmaker there was a matchmaker <laughs> <laughs> yes. right and we talked about this during our last uh, show when you yeah, came here yeah, yeah. that someone looked at you and said you know you guys are good for each other mm-hmm. can you tell us tell me a little bit about how no, that happened she actually noticed uh, uh-huh. some spark mm-hmm. because she was my friend mm. she knows noticed that there was something between us mm-hmm. she said she started just uh, I don't know if it's bullying or mm-hmm. what. like no 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 it was bullying. Get, 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 you get, are get, bullying get, into get, a relationship get, get, get. <laughs> but no, but, <laughs> but you beginning. know you okay. know when okay. you like someone and then there's someone outside noticing you're very happy yeah, your, it, your heart is jumping it, it with justifies joy because, you oh, yeah mm. actually someone is noticing so there's something mm-hmm. so we we were actually happy because oh someone has actually noticed someone you value had noticed that there's had, something had uh, noticed mm. but we had felt it ourselves mm-hmm. before then mm-hmm but in some cases yeah there's much making and uh it it works it works it, it it may work it may not work would you take the risk of proposing a gentleman to a lady that you're close to like this is a good guy for you i wouldn't you will <laughs> because if it fails then uh, i'm in trouble you're in trouble <laughs> yes. yeah okay now yeah. Yeah, i'm coming back to you would you no no unless uh, ask for advice <laughs> you, you see like ours uh-huh. we, we had already known each other yeah Uh, we were, were already seeing each other we were talking to each other so she just noticed something that was there mm-hmm. that was already there that mm-hmm. was developing mm-hmm. at a slower pace she just acted as a catalyst mm-hmm. so that it goes a bit faster faster yes mm-hmm. but uh, much making in the, the essence of it two strangers I mm, you would not do it you know. <coughs> but now five years of dating how many years of marriage now You have a hook she was never only pay only no she she's the one who keeps who keeps, the, who keeps the records yes, yes. definitely is the woman who keeps the records <laughs> three and a half three and a half yes. so it's eight years yep na katoto bado tunasubiri bado tunasubiri bado tunasubiri waiting upon the lord uh-huh. at the right time at the right There time is no pressure no pressure absolutely yes. i yeah. appreciate that <laughs> and the <laughs> fact that you are willing to actually wait for it and say let's first of all go for some goals and mm-hmm. yeah for some goals and dream okay yeah. now, i'm i'm told there are some comments uh, on our facebook page and i'm uh, i'm, I'm going to read that out uh, so here we've got uh, Collins Ndiwa so he's saying it's it's a brilliant show watching from Kitale say hi to the fielder that must be someone in the audience yeah wait washa ni kuambia ah tomorrow's valentines is at uh, Kitale aha uh-huh. Yunis Kasiva love it asante sana Yunis then we've got prince ladis show nzuri sana asante sana uh, ladis kutoka pale pote ambapo unatazamia show yetu leo and then we have Gideon Olo uh, saying i'm following the conversation from Rangwe my quiz is for how long should the couples date each other before they get to marry each other all right there you are actually we can uh, we can actually uh, talk about that so that question then uh, we've got kiddy melody hashtag there okay i don't know how that works okay hashtag the power talk show yeah marriage is a beautiful thing when one is married to the right person and where there is true love absolutely thank you so much kiddy melody so that that, that question who, who wants to answer it Mm. Let yes. me first let me first comment on the tweet uh, on the on, on the on Facebook, the, uh, Facebook the right person. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, oh wait 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 wait. There is Sherry, Harry. Love the show. Okay, thank you so much. Then we've got Trufena Memo watching from uh, Eddie. It should be LD, I guess, yeah. Uh, Eldoret. Uh, I don't know what that Donald Trump. Me too. <laughs> Donald Trump. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah. I wanted to comment on uh, first of all about the right person. Uh-huh. Uh, on this earth there is no right person. You have to make your right person. because uh, marriage as in love, you always it's a constant battle. It's a constant 
fight to mm. stay in love mm. to keep love mm -hmm. and to always say yes to the vows that you've made do you think people are afraid of that work uh, probably uh -huh. yeah probably it's or uh, i don't think it's really the fear of the work mm -hmm. as such but it's a, a crisis of uh, role role models absolutely in, uh, in, in the society because uh, when you look when you look left right and center mm -hmm. you it's all about uh, this has happened uh, married people have fought over chapati uh, oh yeah that's for real someone is in hospital because she cooked the wrong chapati what happened <laughs> by the way you you you, know, you you have heard the story yeah, do that. you know do you know what happens actually now i'm curious <laughs> but i heard that it was on the news but it's i think it's not the chapati there must be something that triggered that the chapati small, yeah that action yeah it did, uh, it's like a, it's uh you 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 have issues then you sleep over issues you don't talk about issues then a small thing like chapati or toothbrush will send you to hospital when i was growing up chapati zilikuwa zinakaliwa okay <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you were saying something mm -hmm. so uh, about uh, the amount of time for dating well hours took longer yeah uh, our friends the ones who were bef before us took shorter than us so it, it's not really a question of uh, the amount of time mm. but it's uh, the work you put in with the time that you have the quality yes the quality mm. that is there because you have to move from dating then to courting uh, dating is where now the infatuation ends uh, where lovers are feeling dies down and now you have to do work lovers are, as work as lovers a choice are doing uh, what? as a doing what yeah i li yes, like that yeah. and, a, and as a choice mm -hmm. and and this is where now you now start to see the devil in him and you start to uh see whether this is, is a devil that you're willing to live with yes this uh -huh. is my kind of devil uh -huh. and it, 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 it really doesn't have a time stamp okay yeah uh, all right now coming back to you um there's something you mentioned about you know uh it, it it doesn't really matter what matters is the quality right uh and you reached a point and you said okay mr curry is the man that i want to i want to marry all right mm -hmm. now it has been three years into it and i'm sure you'd make the same choice again of course oh, of course of course of course <laughs> she wouldn't say anything okay <laughs> you know uh, again I, I you you are the you are lady so I'm, I'm i'm more keen on talking to you because well the ladies are the ones who get pregnant uh, in any case you know you are the ones who are left with the kids and all that okay how important it is it for you to start you are living together married and not simply come we stay sorry i in the sense huh? think, uh -huh how important is it was it for you mm -hmm. to start your union mm -hmm. as a marriage mm -hmm. solemnized marriage mm -hmm. okay see you will hammer kwako kapeleka slippers kwanza then you followed with a toothbrush you know then finally you know mm -hmm. right so how important was it? Is, is it was it for you and how was it important enough for you to advise someone to start that uh, that way um okay I've, i think i've been the person who is always like no let's i need to do the right thing oh mm -hmm. come we stay in nini of course once in a while there are those that you will visit each other but uh, it's advisable to just kakwako to avoid temptations uh -huh. and all that uh, -huh. uh Barry and uh, Emily already talked about uh, sex before marriage mm -hmm. and my friends in opus day normally say that avoiding the temptation is more important because when you get to that room together you don't know if you you'll be able to control yourselves mm. the emotions and all that mm -hmm. however there are people who can control themselves if you can well and good very rare species I, though today's reading mm -hmm. today's i think it's a gospel they said that uh, jesus when you, said when you're talking about today's reading you're talking about readings in the catholic yes, church yeah in eh? the catholic church yeah. uh, uh, jesus said that whatever comes out is what matters what uh, goes in doesn't matter ah uh, okay so it's your actions it's mm -hmm. the outcome of that mm -hmm. if it's leading you to sin then mm -hmm. do not do it do not do it do not do it but would you still advise someone where where because mm -hmm. Ngoja kuoe. Usiingie tu migu yote mbili na haja kuambia hata anataka kuoa. That's what I always advise people. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wait. Because it's better to avoid the temptation. Okay. It's better to avoid the temptation. Uh -huh. After all, before you get to marriage, you already know your role as uh -huh. a woman. You already yeah. know what is expected of you. And if you've known someone for quite some time, yeah. you know each other. So you don't need to actually live together mm. to know each other. Mm. Unless someone is has some skeletons hidden. So you mambo ya kujaribu gari kabla ya kuendesha you're not for it's it. It's not advisable uh -huh. and maybe you just to maybe touch on one thing uh -huh. that uh, that is really destroying relationships nowadays mm. and I've had it in salons in discussions out here that yeah. oh you know nowadays 
we have to live with this mpango wakando you know a man must have a, a side chick or something you as a lady as long as he respects you as long as he doesn't take the lady to the clubs he takes you then there's no problem but you know i find myself arguing alone <laughs> because i don't know how we've gotten to that situation that we can allow we can we can accept some things mm. to happen when marriage was made for two people yeah and it's a, it's a sacred thing yeah absolutely yeah. I, i mean i i i love i, lo I love your your view of that mm -hmm. Kerry, uh, before now, maybe I'm, uh, I'm going to ask uh, you to give your mic so that uh, maybe you can, you can have a question or two. In the meantime, I'll ask you, uh, Masanga, maybe you can t take the mic. Yeah. In the meantime, Mr. Perfect, you, you, talk, you talked about, you know, he talked about a long distance relationship. And I said, I'm going to come back to that. Okay. And I get this question a lot, and I'm going to ask you, long distance relationships, do they work? And what is one thing that makes it work as we as we give it to the audience? Am I, <laughs> I think what made mine work yeah. was the fact that uh, it did not begin as a long distance relationship. Ah, okay. So, uh, so my advice, mm. my my uh, my advice on it will be, much as uh, you're dating long distance, but. Mm. Uh, that physical pres presence is as important as, as uh, any other thing. And Absolutely. Once in a while, you, you need to see each other. Hmm. Uh, you might be dating someone who Anakonyesha said their left, Kumbe said their right, uh, has some issues, hmm. and you, you do not know. You, you fell in love with someone you think is uh, complete, uh, complete all the way. So, much as you're dating long distance, hmm. you need to be to clear yes you need to have that constant mm. physical presence between the two of you otherwise the time will uh, okay, the distance might might destroy yes absolutely okay i'm going to give a question to one person or two at most because of the time that i'm told our time is running out so one two chap chap short question let's go um my name is zelifa njagi i study at the cooperative university of kenya and uh, I w you so you've said that you went through a lot of challenges before you even got married i just wanted to ask um, how did you know that i'm not supposed to let go of this person and this person is worth fighting for before you even got married okay all righty uh -huh. the ne next question a quick brief one i'll let it go let me see you I'm Singata mm -hmm. from cooperative university taking public relations and advertising my question is majorly directed to the guy. Um, <coughs> so, of course, you'll find prettier girls than <coughs> her, or ladies or what you've seen, prettier girls than her. And the lady you say, of course, maybe better, or I won't say better, or cuter guys than him. So, how is it that you reached a mm. point that you say, now this is the one for me, this is the lady I want to settle with, or is it that spark that said that? according to your friend that you said it's the one and have you reached a point where you thought is that you want to give up on each other okay wow i think that question actually is for for for, for both of you please give them a clap for the, those who have asked the question that question is i think is for both of you you can see a beautiful handsome guy out there and uh, all that but let's me first of all read these comments and then we can briefly answer those questions milka wairimo i love the show my quiz is, is how do you keep a long distance relationship alive but uh, he has already mentioned something to do with that he's already responded to that i love the show this is bremo from bramwell this is bremo from naivasha okay Bremo Bremal. Well, what's that? It's a beer. Godfrey Ndungu, awesome conversation watching from Nakuru, Nax. Nax Vegas, marriage itself is a beautiful thing. I'm also in a relationship with a girl. Thank God, it's a girl. Whom we are in the same school for two years and now planning for marriage. Hey! Make some noise for God Godfrey. Yeah, Ndungu. Yeah, girl. Then we have Isaac Spice. Spice.